Good evening and welcome to the Scotia Bank Pond. It's time for game three of the first round matchup between the six seed Toronto Titans and the number three seed Toronto Marlies. It's minor midget AAA playoffs here on Rogers TV. Bill Kanidis with me is Peter Curtis. And this was an interesting matchup that we were looking forward to because on paper, both of these teams had such success in the second half of the season. We know the Marlies and what their offense is capable of, averaging 3.9 goals per game over the entire regular season. But the Titans, they entered the playoffs on a four game winning streak where they scored 13 goals in those four games. So both teams came in hot and both of them traded a victory so far. Well, certainly game one was an 8-2 win for the Marlies. You figured, oh, this is gonna be a real walk with the offense. Titans, great response in game two. So it's interesting to see what will happen in game three. Let's check out our game story to see how this one unfolded. And in the first period, delayed penalty. Jack Hughes steps up as the extra attacker, puts one on net. And there's Kyle Harris on the doorstep, make it one nothing Marlies, and then Hughes again. He would lose the handle, but Daniel D'Amico is there. He pots home the Marlies' second goal, early lead, and they didn't slow down. Well, the Marlies' puck movement was successful even when they didn't have it. On cue, Eric Yell with the bouncer makes it three nothing. And what we're not showing is the four check and the speed the Marlies had and the saves that Eli Schiller would have to make. Not much he can do on this D'Amico fourth goal of the game for the Marlies. They were buzzing around the Toronto Titans goaltender. And D'Amico, he wires that one home. But to start the third, Condotta wrists one towards the net. It finds a way past Carvalho. Put the Titans on the board. They were down 4-1, but just too much from the Marlies in this one. Late in the third, Zabini would score their second power play goal. They were two for six on the power play, six for six on the penalty kill. And now the Marlies with the five to one victory have a 4-2 lead in the series. And game four will be a big one for the Titans. Thank you as always for tuning in. And we'll see you soon with more GTHL highlights.